It's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make some maple roasted acorn squash with a lentil and rice stuffing. This recipe is perfect for the holidays, whether you want to serve it as a main course or as a side dish. Speaking of the holidays, this video is a recipe collaboration with other vegan YouTubers and we're all coming up with vegan holiday recipes to share with you guys. So if you're still trying to figure out what you're going to be making this December, we pretty much have you covered. I will have the recipe playlist linked in the description of this video, so be sure to check it out after you finish watching this one. I think that is everything for now, so let's get on to cooking. So to start out, we're going to need about three acorn squash, and if you are unfamiliar, this is what an acorn squash looks like. It's great for this recipe because it has a nice round portion to it, so it's perfect for bowls. So you're going to cut each squash in half, like you can see here, and then we're just going to use a spoon to scoop out the insides of the squash, which is going to make our edible bowls. So once you finish that with your three squashes, you should have six separate halves, and now we're going to make the glaze for our squash just by combining some maple syrup and tamari in a small bowl and mixing that together until everything is evenly distributed. So now we're going to score our squash using a knife. We're just going to gently cut some lines into it so it makes a sort of checkerboard and making sure you don't cut all the way through the squash. But this allows our marinade to absorb more into the squash and it also just helps it cook more evenly. So we're going to spoon um, a little bit of the marinade into each squash and then just spread it around using either a brush or your hand just to spread the flavor around and make sure all of the squash is evenly glazed. Next, we're going to pour some water into the bottom of our glass baking tray. And you probably wanna use it between one and two cups and this allows the squash to steam and cook more evenly while it's in the oven. It also makes sure it doesn't stick to the bottom of the tray. We're just going to pop those into the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for around 30 minutes. In the meantime, we can work on our mushroom filling. So we're going to add some baby bella mushrooms that are thinly sliced into a pot along with some diced onion and minced garlic. Look. We're also going to be adding some seasonings. I'm using sage, thyme, and rosemary, as well as some red rice and some black lentils. Now, if you don't have red rice or black lentils, you can substitute it with another form of rice and a green lentil. I have all of that listed in the recipe that is on my blog, so you can check that out. But now we're just going to add in enough veggie stock so the rice and lentils will cook evenly, stir everything together, and then bring this mixture to a boil. And once it is boiling, you're going to cover it and let it simmer for around 30 minutes. So after the squash finish cooking, you may have a little bit of extra marinade in the bottom of them, as you can see here. So carefully, you're just going to run this liquid sort of around the perimeter of the squash just to help it absorb a little bit more. And then you can just dump the excess out into the bottom of the pan because we don't want our stuffing to be soggy. So after you've finished that, your stuffing mixture should be cooked as well. So you're just going to spoon it into each squash, sort of fill it. And you don't just have to fill it straight to the top. I like to put a little mound on top so it's sort of overflowing the stuffing. But now we're just going to pop that back into the oven for an extra 10 minutes and we are all ready to go. So if you were serving this for a holiday party, I think it's really fun to serve it sort of family style on a large platter. It makes it look super festive. And as you can tell, I also topped my squash with some toasted pine nuts. I love the extra crunch and depth of flavor that it adds to the recipe. And I feel like it all ties together really well once you add the pine nuts on top. But that's pretty much it for this recipe. I hope you guys enjoy it. I personally found it so, so delicious. And I would eat this as a weeknight dinner as well as for the holidays. And there you have it. This recipe was actually inspired by my mom, so I wanted to give a little bit of a shout out to her. Growing up as a kid, she used to roast acorn squash and then she would stuff them with some vegetarian beef crumbles. And I always loved that recipe as a kid, so I wanted to recreate it for my blog and make it a little bit more holiday themed and holiday friendly. Don't forget to check out that epic playlist of eight other vegan holiday recipes that I'll have linked in the description of this video. And as always, I'll have this recipe linked in the 
the description of this video as well. And you guys should totally let me know in the comments below what your favorite childhood dish was growing up. I don't know if this was my absolute favorite, but it was definitely one of my favorites. If this is the first time you are watching one of my videos and you like what you see here, feel free to hit that little subscribe button right down there. I normally post two new videos every single week, but I'm posting a little extra right now just because it's Vlogmas. But other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope you have a great rest of your day. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Uh, hold up. Wait a second. Did you notice something missing in this video? I did it when I was recording the voiceover, but in editing, I noticed something was up. I kind of forgot to incorporate a word that I use all the time. And I feel like some of you guys really look forward to it. And honestly, I look forward to it when I put it in my videos. So just so it doesn't get uh, left out of this one, I got to say it. Incorporated. Okay. Bye for real.